During the Hundred Days of 1815, both the coalition nations and the First French Empire of Napoleon Bonaparte mobilized for war. This article describes the deployment of forces in early June 1815 just before the start of the Waterloo Campaign and the minor campaigns of 1815. French, upon assumption of the throne, Napoleon found that he was left with little by the Bourbons and that the state of the army was 56,000 troops of which 46,000 were ready to campaign. By the end of May, the total armed forces available to Napoleon had reached 198,000 with 66,000 more in depots training up but not yet ready for deployment. Waterloo campaign By the end of May, Napoleon had deployed his forces as follows. First Corps cantoned between Lille and Valenciennes. Second Corps cantoned between Valenciennes and Avenay. Third Corps cantoned around Rockroy. Fourth Corps cantoned at Metz. Sixth Corps cantoned at Laon. Cavalry Reserve cantoned at Guise. Imperial Guard at Paris. The preceding corps were to be formed into L.A.R.M.E. Acute he du Nord and led by Napoleon Bonaparte would participate in the Waterloo campaign. Armies of observation for the defense of France, Bonaparte deployed his remaining forces within France observing France's enemies, foreign and domestic, intending to delay the former and suppress the latter. By June, they were organized as follows. 5th Corps, ARME Acute -E du Rhin, Canton near Strasbourg, 15th Infantry Division, 16th Infantry Division, 17th Infantry Division, 7th Cavalry Division, National Guard Division, 46 guns, total 20,000 minus 23,000 men, 7th Corps, ARME Acute -E des Alpes, Based at Lyons, this army was charged with the defense of Lyons and to observe the Austro-Sardinian Army of Fremont. Its composition in June was 22nd Infantry Division, 23rd Infantry Division, 15th Cavalry Division, 6th National Guard Division, 7th National Guard Division, 8th National Guard Division, 42 to 46 guns. Total 13,000 minus 23,500 men. First Corps of Observation, ARME QT du Jura based at Belfort and commanded by General Claude Lecuba. This army was to observe any Austrian movement through Switzerland and also observe the Swiss Army of General Berkman. Its composition in June was 18th Infantry Division, 8th Cavalry Division, 3rd National Guard Division. 4th National Guard Division, 38 guns, total 5,392 minus 8,400 men. 2nd Corps of Observation, ARME QT du VAR, based at Toulon and commanded by Marshal Guillaume Marie Anne Brun. This army was charged with the suppression of any potential royalist uprisings and to observe General Bianchi's Army of Naples. Its composition in June was 24th Infantry Division, 25th Infantry Division, 14th Chasseurs a Cheval Cavalry Regiment, 22 guns, total 5,500 minus 6,116 men. 3rd Corps of Observation, Army of the Pyrenees Oriental, based at Toulouse and commanded by General Charles Mathieu Isidore Deccan, this army observed the eastern Spanish frontier. Its composition in June was 26th Infantry Division, 5th Chasseurs a Cheval Cavalry Regiment, 24 guns, total 3,516 minus 7,600 men. 4th Corps of Observation, Army of the Pyrenees Occidental, based at Bordeaux and commanded by General Bertrand Clausel, this army observed the western Spanish frontier. Its composition in June was 27th Infantry Division, 15th Chasseurs a Cheval Cavalry Regiment, 24 guns, total 3,516 minus 6,800 men. Army of the West, ARME QT de l'Ouest, commanded by General Jean-Maximilien Lamarck, the army was formed to suppress the Royalist insurrection in the Vendée region of France, which remained loyal to King Louis XVIII during the Hundred Days. 
The army contained a young guard infantry brigade consisting of the 2nd T. Raya and 2nd Voltigeur regiments and some line units detached from the other armies as well as gendarmes and volunteers. Its composition in June was one unnumbered infantry division under General Breyer, one unnumbered infantry division under General Travot, 24 guns, total 10,000 minus 27,000 men. 7th Coalition. The 7th Coalition armies formed to invade France were overview the forces at the disposal of the 7th Coalition for an invasion of France amounted to the better part of a million men. According to the returns laid out in secret sittings at the Congress of Vienna the military resources of the European states that joined the coalition, the number of troops which they could field for active operations, without unduly diminishing the garrison and other services in their respective interiors, amounted to 986,000 men. The size of the principal invasion armies was as follows. Waterloo Campaign Wellington's Allied Army cantoned in the southern part of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, in what is now Belgium. Field Marshal Arthur Wellesley, 1st Duke of Wellington commanded a coalition army, made up of troops from the Duchies of Brunswick, and Nassau in the Kingdoms of Hanover, the Netherlands and the United Kingdom. In June 1815 Wellington's army of 93,000 with headquarters at Brussels was cantoned. First Corps, 30,200, headquarters brain le Comte, disposed in the area Engin gen at Mons. Second Corps, 27,300, headquarters Ath, distributed in the area Ath Udenard Ghent. Reserve 25,500, lay around Brussels. Reserve Cavalry 9,900, in the valley of the Dendra River, between Gerardsburg and Ninova. Dutch Light Cavalry observed the frontier into the west of Luzembinch. The Netherlands Corps, commanded by Prince Frederick of the Netherlands, did not take part in early actions of the Waterloo Campaign, but did besiege some of the frontier fortresses in the rear of Wellington's advancing army. A Danish contingent known as the Royal Danish Auxiliary Corps commanded by General Prince Frederick of Hessen Castle and a Hanseatic contingent, later commanded by the British Colonel Sir Neil Campbell, were also on their way to join this army. Both, however, joined the army in July having missed the conflict. Wellington had very much hoped to obtain the Portuguese contingent of 12-14,000 men that might be boarded on ships and sent to this army. However, this contingent never materialized as the Portuguese government were extremely uncooperative. They explained that they did not have the authority to send the Prince Regent of Portugal's forces to war without his consent. They explained this even though they themselves had signed the Treaty of 15 March without his consent. Besides this, the state of the Portuguese army in 1815 left much to be desired and were a shadow of their former self with much of it being disbanded. The Tsar of Russia offered Wellington his second army corps under General Wattenberg, but Wellington was far from keen on accepting this contingent. Prussian army This army was composed entirely of Prussians from the provinces of the Kingdom of Prussia, old and recently acquired alike. Field Marshal Gebhard Leberecht von Blücher commanded this army with General August Niedhardt von Eisenau as his chief of staff and second in command. Blücher's Prussian army of 116,000 men, with headquarters at Namur, was distributed as follows. 1st Corps, 30,800, cantoned along the Samba, headquarters Chalwa, and covering the area fontaine le Evêque Floris Moustier. 2nd Corps, 31,000, headquarters at Namur, lay in the area Namur Hanatai. 3rd Corps, 23,900, in the bend of the River Meuse, headquarters Sini, and disposed in the area Dean on High Sini. 4th Corps, 30,300, with headquarters at Legion cantoned around it. Minor campaigns German Corps This army was part of the Prussian army above but was to act independently much further south. 
It was composed of contingents from the following nations of the German Confederation, Electorate of Hessen, Grand Duchy of Mecklenburg-Schwerin, Grand Duchy of Mecklenburg-Strelitz, Grand Duchy of Saxe-Weimar Eisenach, Duchy of Oldenburg, Duchy of Saxe-Gotha, Duchy of anhalt bernburg Duchy of anhalt dessau Duchy of anhalt cothen Principality of Schwarzburg Rudolstadt, Principality of Schwarzburg Sondershausen, Principality of Waldeck, Principality of Lippa and the Principality of Schaumburg Lippa. Fearing that Napoleon was going to strike him first, Blücher ordered this army to march north to join the rest of his own army. The Prussian general Friedrich Graf Kleist von Nollendorf initially commanded this army before he fell ill on 18 June and was replaced temperately by the Hessen Castle General von Engelhardt and then by Lieutenant General Karl Georg Albrecht Ernst von Haeck. Its composition in June was Hessen Castle Division, General Engelhardt Hessian 1st Brigade, Major General Prince of Solms Braunfels Hessian 2nd Brigade, Major General von Muller Hessian Cavalry Brigade, Major General von Warburg Hessian Artillery, Nagel von Badeleben, Thuringian Brigade, Major General Eglofstein 1st Provisional Infantry Regiment. 2nd Provisional Infantry Regiment 3rd Provisional Infantry Regiment Total 25,000 Russian Army Field Marshal Michael Andreas Barclay de Tolly commanded the 1st Russian Army. In June it consisted of the following. 3rd Army Corps General Dokturov 4th Army Corps General Rayevsky 5th Army Corps General Sakhin 6th Army Corps, General Langeron, 7th Army Corps, General Sarbanev, Reserve Grenadier Corps, General Yermolov, 2nd Reserve Cavalry Corps, General Winzingerod, Artillery Reserve, Colonel Bogoslavsky, Total 200,000 Austro-German Army The Austrian military contingent was divided into three armies. This was the largest of these armies, commanded by Field Marshal Karl Philipp, Prince of Schwarzenberg. Its target was Paris. This Austrian contingent was joined by those of the following nations of the German Confederation. Kingdom of Bavaria, Kingdom of Wattenberg, Grand Duchy of Baden, Grand Duchy of Hesse, Free City of Frankfurt, Principality of Russelda Line and the Principality of Rus Junior Line. Besides these there were contingents of Fulda and Eisenberg. These were recruited by the Austrians from German territories that were in the process of losing their independence by being annexed to other countries at the Congress of Vienna. Finally, these were joined by the contingents of the Kingdom of Saxony, Duchy of saxe coburg saalfeld Duchy of Saxe-Meiningen and the Duchy of Saxe-Hildberghausen. Its composition in June was Swiss Army This army was composed entirely of Swiss. The Swiss general Niklaus Franz von Balkman commanded this army. This force was to observe any French forces that operated near its borders. Its composition in July was I Division, Colonel von Gaddy, 2 Division, Colonel Fuesley, 3 Division, Colonel Daffre. Reserve Division, Colonel Quartermaster Finzler, total 37,000 Austro-Sardinian Army This was the second largest of Austria's contingents. Its target was Lyons. General Johann Maria Philipp Frimont commanded this army. Its composition in June was 1st Corps, Major General Paul von Radibayevich. 2nd Corps, Major General Ferdinand Graf Bubner von Littitz. Reserve Corps, Major General Franz Moroy de Merville, Sardinian Corps, General de la Tour, total 50,000 Austrian Army This was the smallest of Austria's military contingents. Its targets were Marseille and Toulon. General Bianchi commanded this army. This was the Austrian army that defeated Murat's army in the Neapolitan War. It was not composed of Neapolitans as the army's name may suggest and as one author supposed. There was however a Sardinian force in this area forming the garrison of Nice under Louis Cacherano du Zascu which may have been where the other part of this misunderstanding had arisen. Its composition in June was 1st Corps, General Nieperg. 
Second Corps, General Moore, Reserve Corps, General Nugent, total 23,000 Anglo-Sicilian Army This was Great Britain's smaller military contingent. Its targets were Marseille and Toulon. Mobilization Spanish armies It was planned that a Spanish army was to invade France via Perpignan and Toulouse. General Francisco Javier Castanos, 1st Duke of Balen commanded this army. It was planned that a second Spanish army was to invade France via Bayonne and Bordeaux. General Henry Joseph O'Donnell, Count of La Bisbal commanded this army. Both Wellington's dispatches and his supplementary dispatches show that neither of the Spanish armies contained any Portuguese contingents nor were they likely to. However, both Chandler and Barbaro state that the Portuguese did send a contingent. Prussian Reserve Army besides the four Army Corps that fought in the Waterloo campaign listed above that Blücher took with him into the Kingdom of the Netherlands. Prussia also had a reserve army stationed at home in order to defend its borders. This consisted of 5th Army Corps, commanded by General Ludwig York von Wartenberg, 6th Army Corps, commanded by General Bogoslav Friedrich Emanuel von Tauansian, Royal Guard, commanded by General Charles II, Grand Duke of Mecklenburg Strelitz, Royal Danish Auxiliary Corps and Hanseatic Contingent A Danish contingent known as the Royal Danish Auxiliary Corps commanded by General Prince. Frederick of Hessen Castle and a Hanseatic contingent commanded by the British Colonel Sir Neil Campbell, were also on their way to join Wellington's army. Both, however, joined the army in July having missed the conflict. Portuguese contingent Wellington had very much hoped to obtain the Portuguese contingent of 12 minus 14,000 men that might be boarded on ships and sent to this army. However, this contingent never materialized as the Portuguese government were extremely uncooperative. They explained that they did not have the authority to send the Prince Regent of Portugal's forces to war without his consent. They explained this even though they themselves had signed the Treaty of 15 March without his consent. Besides this, the state of the Portuguese army in 1815 left much to be desired and were a shadow of their former with much of it being disbanded. Russian Second Army The Second Russian Army was behind the First Russian Army to support it if required. Imperial Guard Corps First Army Corps Second Army Corps, commanded by General Wattenberg, I Grenadier Division, 1st Reserve Cavalry Corps, Russian support for Wellington The Tsar of Russia offered Wellington the Second Army Corps under General Wattenberg from his reserve army, but Wellington was far from keen on accepting this contingent.